Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. 2007 Ford Explorer, 4.0 liter single overhead cam, fuel pressure sensor on the rail, electrical connector, push and release tab right there. There's a vacuum line on the back side, push that off. And then we have two Torx bits holding it on. I have a block of wood holding this up. T30 Torx bit. Mine's a Torx bit, yours might be 8 millimeter. This is a T30 Torx bit. Bolt. The uh, sensor's actually pushing up, maybe fuel pressure is pushing it up, but it's actually being forced up, so you can maybe push it down to make taking those little bolts out easier. You can see how it's coming up. Put a little bit of, put a little grease on it to help it uh, go in easier and we'll push it in and reinstall the bolts. Start all bolts by hand and then we'll snug them down. There's our vacuum line to reattach on the back side there. Then we'll just snug them down. I'm sure a quarter inch ratchet will be just fine for snugging them down tight. We can uh, take the wood out of there and we can drop our intake down. Now I will say that we check this out and if you put your finger in here you can really feel a lot of gasket hanging down I don't think I can get it on camera but There's a lot of gasket coming down, so I don't have any problem at all just dropping this back into place and tightening it down. Used a lot of air and blew a lot of dirt out of there before we took it apart. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight T30 Torx bolts holding it down. The trickiest one is in the back. You can't see it, but you can kind of feel it. And I did use a mirror. Maybe I'll take a little picture of that. A mirror can be helpful at times. So this specifically is a 2007 4.0 liter Ford Explorer fuel pressure sensor and temperature sensor built in there as well. All right so let's take a look at them bolt locations. <clears throat> Back in the back. Oh, I did disconnect this line here. 
to get a little access in the back. Ooh. Right here. Snaps into place, push the white tab in to release it. Push this tab in to release. Just gonna leave it off to the side for now. So we got our four bolts on this line here, and then four bolts here. The left to loosen, right to tighten for your intake. I'll give you the torque specs for that if you want in a second. Back one's a little tricky to, to get to, but you can feel it with your fingers. And getting that whole uh, hose out of there helps. There's one uh, other harness. I think it's the uh, vacuum line harness needs to be on the intake manifold side of the harness, not the other side. So just be aware of that. And uh, I didn't get to it. So we can clear the PO 193 fuel rail pressure circuit high input and uh, should be good to go. That is uh, replacing your fuel pressure sensor on the rail there. Your Ford Explorer, several makes and models in several years. This should be good for if what you see looks like your vehicle, it's probably going to work for you. Good luck to you.